Welcome at SPS IPC Drives here in Nuremberg. I'm together with Norbert Hauser. He is Executive Vice President Marketing with Contron and he will introduce the exhibition highlights to us now. Welcome Mr. Hauser. Thank you Mr. Hübner. Uh, we have several highlights at the show. We completed our range of computer and modules with the latest processor architectures. So on ETX we have um, the uh, e Ontario from AMD, the embedded G series, which is high-end graphics multimedia. On MicroATX Express, which is ComExpress Compact, we have a dual core 525 from Intel, and it supports the latest DDR3 memory now. Not only modules and boards now we have completed with Atom and with uh, latest embedded G series, but box PCs. So one box PC also with a dual core Atom and also box PC with uh, AMD G series. So now we have a very attractive portfolio scalable from Atom to AMD G series to Core i7 scalable for all kinds of applications. Okay. And there's one more thing which uh, you highlighted here at the show, which is uh, yes. a new form factor. Yeah, actually it's not a product yet, it's a new computer and module standard. So the standard is completely defined, it includes the size, we have two, two module sizes, the smaller and a bigger form factor, okay. uh, MXM3 connector for 314 pins, which allows us enough pins for all the I.O. intensive ARM architectures of the future in SOCs. The architecture is dedicated for ARM and low power SOCs, so we have one line ComExpress and ATX for x86 and a separate module line for ARM and SOCs. Uh, we found out it's hard to combine the both, so mm -hmm. we need a new specification there. So what are the target applications of this new form factor? The ARM technology you find in any application. It's very nice for mobile devices in the medical area, handheld devices in the test and measurement, data acquisition, all kind of analyzers or test devices which are portable, wherever you have battery power or limited space or size, uh, you need long battery lifetime uh, for the devices. So it's an automation, test and measurement, um, kiosks, cash registers, because it's limited on space, and wherever there's a display, because the display is not heated up, it stays cool, so it's many applications around the world, and it's applications that cannot be solved today with x86, because of the power consumption. And, uh, who else is supporting this, uh, this form factor? We have many years experience in driving new standards, like ETX we have driven, we started ComExpress with Intel together, uh, both are very successful, and it will be a new de facto standard with second source parties, and of course second source means other big players, AD-Link is our first strategic partner, supporting the same standard, and they will come up with products, mm -hmm. and some other large players will follow, I cannot tell you the name now, there are discussions going on, but I'm sure before Embedded World you will hear some more news. Have you made, uh, or, or who are your silicon partners for, because you were mentioning this is ARM and SOC? Yes, uh, we are not going to low cost ARM, we are going to high performance ARM, yet low power consumption. So the two strategic partners we have chosen is Texas Instruments and NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. NVIDIA because of the high graphics and Texas Instruments, longevity, uh, extended temperature range for all kind of industrial applications. So we have two kinds of different uh, performance levels. You were saying it's not a product yet, but when will be the first product available? Um, our plans are to launch the products at Embedded World 2012. Which is end of February, beginning of March next exactly. year. Exactly, and we will have the, the modules and small form factor boards and motherboards, and later on, of course, system level products uh, will come in the second half year, like tablet PCs, HMIs, box PCs. So I'm sure next year at the SPS we have some nice system products. Okay. And uh, to give you an idea, uh, a complete module is about 3 watts, the process about 300 milliwatts, so it's quite a difference to the x86 architecture. Mm -hmm. It's not competing, it's a, it's a diversification, complementary application for us, uh, high growth rates and software is the key, Android, Windows 8 next year, so we will provide lots of software support around BSPs, adoption services, support services, because it's very software intensive. Yeah, this sounds as if a lot of exciting things are coming up. Yes. 
The world is flat, as you can see. <laughs> this could be a mobility device, you know, very flat, less than one centimeter for the complete uh, product. And lots of good display solutions will come out next year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Hibbert.